Hey guys, what's up? Uh, a little video for you. Uh, knowing me, went out and bought another PlayStation 4 uh, controller, which uh, was used. Obviously, you can see the uh, analog is uh, used a little bit here. But one of the big things it has is um, the trigger is broke. You can probably see it better on an angle like this. So it's kind of leaning. supposed to be straight but it's it's really loose so one of the little pins on the uh, the analog uh, not the analog but the trigger switch is broke so this cost 20 bucks and this cost six with free shipping and I also ordered uh, little uh, grips to go on the analogs so I'll uh, wear down the grips and not the analogs themselves because even mine is being starting to wear down as well. So $26 for a PlayStation 4 controller is pretty damn good if you ask me. So I gotta take this thing apart. There's four star screws. It pops apart and uh, change that one trigger switch with uh, one of these new ones. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so upon opening, it kind of like flew all apart. Luckily, this didn't break. It unplugged from here. And uh, as you can see, go focus. There's actually missing a, uh, a little arm on the other side, which I think this is a part of it because this kind of flew out. I actually know this is... This is plastic, like rubber. I don't know where that goes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop one of the new ones back in. And it seems it doesn't have a spring anymore either. I don't even know where that went. It's probably inside the controller somewhere. So, uh, let me locate that and uh, pop everything back in. Alright, so, little plastic grommet thing went right in here. And uh, it just slides right into a physical button, which is under there. And the other little arm that had broken off the trigger switch is here. So let's reassemble now that I know everything is going where it needs to go. This kind of looks weird. I don't know if this is a aftermarket battery or something like that, but uh, I'll figure that out down the road, I guess. I'm going to order better batteries for both controllers because that's one downside these PlayStation 4 controllers have is the batteries don't last super long. Alright so a healthy new trigger switch brand new ready to go it's a little hard to align everything and pop it back in but uh, it's done we fixed the controller bought the controller for 20 bucks broken Six bucks to fix it, $26 in all for a PlayStation 4 controller is a win-win situation. Catch you guys later. Alright, next step is going to be to dress it out like uh, my other controller. I have uh, the whole other sticker set to go. So uh, let me get on top of that and then I'll have two matching controllers that have been rebuilt. And I'm just waiting for my... Uh, analog condoms if you want to call them that to uh, protect the original ones so uh, I keep I keep turning on the PlayStation on and off all right guys be back soon all right guys rocking the twins pretty crazy now I got two controllers perfectly fine fixed matching with the uh, with this, the uh, the theme I got going on. So cool. Thanks, peeps, uh, for following me along. And I will catch you later. And there's Alex's saying, peace out.